Hey guys, what is up in my Kia 31 here? <coughs> Excuse me. We'll bring you another online game of NBA Live 15. I'm not quite sure what happened to my last video. I think I inadvertently deleted it, but um, another edition of Around the NBA Online. And in my previous game that I thought I uploaded, but is not on my channel anymore. Um, you saw me finally have my streak with the Knicks end, so once that occurs, I go on to the next team in alphabetical order, and next up was the Oklahoma City Thunder, and I could have waited until the patch came out, or the roster update, what have you, but nope. That's not how I roll. There's no cowardice here. No Durant, no Westbrook, no Biggie. This game was played, I'll say, about a week ago, and I'm up against the um, Warriors. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and all those guys running and gunning. And I don't really have a whole heck of a lot. I have Reggie Jackson, Serge Ibaka, who's actually a pretty darn good jump shooter. As you saw him knock down the mid-range J, and here he's going to work in the paint. And not a whole heck of a lot else. You got Jeremy Lamb, who's pretty, you know, he's okay, I guess. Um, Steve Adams is not bad, but, you know, not a whole heck of a lot of firepower without Westbrook and Durant. We'll see how it goes. Who cares? It's all for fun, right? All for fun and entertainment and um, video diversity, if you will. But I'm off to a pretty good start. Hanging in there, close, very early. Andre Iguodala does the old stop and pop. And I haven't had a chance to play NBA Live since the patch came out today. I plan on doing that very soon. From what I can read about it, on Operation Sports, pretty lengthy, and it seems to address some of the things that I was hoping it would. So, I'll be, I'm doing this for NBA 2K as well, but, you know, the patch now here gives me reason to begin an offline franchise, and I have my team that I have in mind for NBA Live and also for NBA 2K to do the uh, offline dynasty series. I'll save that for later. But here, we're going to see if I can hang on and get this W off to a pretty good start. But he gets the steal. One of the things that they tune with the patch is the um, steal and reach in foul frequency as Harrison Barnes rips me and finishes in transition. And Steph Curry. Oh my goodness. And all I can do is contest. I'm right up in his face. But it's Steph Curry's world as he tries to go into the paint, but Ibaka blocks him, and I'm off running. And Anthony Morrow with a nice little dipsy do there, so I have the lead at the half by three. And it's pretty apparent what this guy is going to be aiming to do. He's trying to spam Clay Thompson and Steph. And Steph makes another contested shot. I mean, all I can do here is just hug that three-point line and you know, hope for the best. Again, another one. So he's up now. Now he's got Clay Thompson, and then there's Steph again. Can he hit another one? That's three. I mean, my gosh. And another. And he f <laughs> he's just rolling. Not looking good. As Steph Curry just got it dialed in, and he's just bobbing away. I almost go backcourt there. But once again, guys don't know how to keep their man in front of them on defense online. And I get an easy layup. And what do you think he's going to try here? A couple of size ups. Why go for the layup when you can run around like a madman and try to pop another contested three? But that time he misses. So finally, he gets a miss. And I'm off of the races. He gets called for goaltending there, being a little bit overzealous. So now I'm just trying to reestablish some control here. Reggie Jackson, for whatever reason, I thought myself wanting to call him Bobby Jackson, the old Sacramento Kings combo guard. Steph Curry off a dribble. I can't stop him. I'm, you know, playing him tight manually. He's busting threes right in my face. 
taking me off of the off the dribble also. And there's a steal and a bad pass, and Clay Thompson's gonna finish here, so I gotta figure this out. And I'm just trying to take my time here and slow the game down and try to be efficient and limit his touches. Here I get very fortunate. I didn't realize that play was to Steve Adams until I was well into it and you know, I get bailed out there making a fallaway jumper. And here's Steph again. He drains it again. I mean, I don't see what more I can do. I finally get him off the three-point line and force him into a tough off dribble two. Don't want that shot. I want to take my time. I'm up three. But I just want to execute here. Swing the ball around. Get Ibaka on the jumper. Boom. He didn't want to contest, so, hey, rise and fire. Steph again. <laughs> I mean, this is just insane. You just can't be stopped. Now I'm just, you know, weaving my way through as he's reaching. Easy layup on these reaches. Reach. Reach, teach. That's all it is. Bombs away. So he's starting to miss these now, thank God. This guy isn't too shabby. That's a little reverse layup. So I'm up six. Gotta stop the barrage. Steph again. Heck, at this point, I'll live with the layup if it's not a dang three-point shot. And again, here we go. Another miss. All right. Up six. Back it out. Slow it down. Run a little bit of pick and roll. Stevie Adams. Very nice. So now I've had enough. And this is where the manual double team mechanic is very nice. I'm going to, you know, act like I'm bringing a double team. I'm not going to commit and I'm going to back off. And it forces the ball out of his hands at least and gets it to somebody else, anybody else. And Clay Thompson misses the layup. So that's a big swing there for me. Now I can just kind of dribble the ball out, work for a good shot. Reggie Jackson with the three, so that's going to ice it. So without Durant, without Westbrook, we survive the Steph Curry onslaught. And we'll win this bad boy. Another clank. So Steph ran out of gas. And the Durant and Westbrook list, Oklahoma City Thunder are going to get this W. That was highly annoying. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you all later. Peace.